Hello everybody and welcome back to Galactic Science. Last time we made a load of stuff, so it's time to actually make some some power I think. I was said I was going to do extreme reactors, didn't I today? Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. Let's have a look. I have got in my hand I've got I picked up two primitive mods, travelling merchants, so I'm gonna put them down and see if we can unlock some of their trades. Because I believe from Alequa says we can get infinite water if we can get some chorus fruits off one of these guys. So I don't know if they're any particular type of travelling merchant or not, but we shall find out. Uh, where am I going to put them? Well, I suppose here's pretty good places anyway. I can have a nice little greeny bit. So I've basically made, I suppose, four or five blocks around will do, won't it? Like this. And they can have the little prison in here. Let's put them down. As well. Oh, we're away. And let's put this one down there. So if we right click these guys, what are they offering? Apples will give us emeralds. Actually, I haven't got any emeralds. And the beans. Right, let's just try this guy with some emeralds and see if we can unlock some of his trades. I don't have a shortage of emeralds, so I'll take a stack and see how we get on. <laughs> did I pick up two stacks? And I thought I did, yes. The numbers went down too much. They up to. <laughs> so, let's try giving him... Oh, he gives me 11 beetroot. Fine. Oh. What a, advanced made what a deal. <laughs> Maybe not. Let's, let's get some cocoa bean seeds. And then you have to wait, I think, before it actually unlocks them. Let's try the other one. If I give him six steaks, he'll give me that. Oh, look, he's just been unlocked. He's got his bubbles. Let's have a look what else he's got on, on offer now. Books, emeralds for books. Oh, and he's got more. Uh, fire charms, okay. Uh, fire charms to these. Fire charges. Let's unlock that one. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Let's do this guy as well. Unlock some old paper. They actually, are, they are different. So, thirty-seven pieces of paper, gold. Actually, that's probably a bit of a better trade than the other one. They got. He's got quite a lot of felt. This one hasn't. He's, been, he's just been unlocked. Let's see what else he's got enough for now. Fire charges and blaze powders. Okay, we'll try. A, we'll try a blaze powder on him. Like this one. Let's see if he's got anything new. What's he got here? Bottle of enchanting and a saddle. Okay, we'll have a saddle. I've actually got one saddle. Oh, five emeralds. Okay. <laughs> the voices are just hilarious. <laughs> what does he offer? Prismarine charts, okay, we'll unlock some prismarine charts as well. They're very busy, they're very busy trading at the moment, so what else have we got now? Nothing else yet. This one might have done some, because he's bubbling away. No, I'll have a bottle of, en oh, four for a bottle of enchanting, that's a bit pricey, but. Oh, he's just unlocked some more trade, let's see what else we can get out of him. Nope, he's just, That's it. Oh, I've got a saddle. Let's go back and get the other one then. Bottle of enchanting. That's three. He's cheaper on enchanting. <laughs> Gold fire charges. Well, we haven't got any fire charges from him, have we? So let's get some fire charges. Useful for Tinker's Construct, of course. Right, have to wait. Maybe he's unlocked another ch another one. Maybe not. I thought that means that they've actually unlocked something else when they do that. He hasn't. Okay, good. So we'll put this stuff away. <laughs> we'll come back to those guys in a while, see if we can unlock some more of their trades. Uh, apples. Do you know, I really do need some apples. So I've basically got to make another bonsai. Hopping plant to put another oak in it. I'll use one of these two. I think I'll make another one. And here I've got the stuff they've been doing. 
uh, making seeds. So I made a few seeds in between time. Actually, easiest way to look for seeds is press F4 and have a look what we got for quests. Uh, uh, magical crops. Oh, I got it first time that time. Way that was well done. So I've done diamond seeds, uh, platinum seeds. Iridium seeds are going to be tricky, I think. Manilium seeds we've done already. Done endurium seeds. So I'll just uh, click that one off. Yellowium seeds we've done that. Draconium seeds would be great, uh, and I'm not sure how to do that. I think it's either I'm going to set a builder up. Let's make another builder. They weren't too expensive for farm room, rightly, but the, the power they require is quite a lot. So I'll get the fences. So a builder is this block here. It's just basically bricks. So I'm missing a machine frame, which I've actually got. I think I've got a machine frame. Was that the wrong type of machine frame? I think I've got a machine frame on me somewhere. Let's have a look. Nope, I don't see what I'm sure I made four of these. Hold on a second. Maybe they're in this chest here. Oh yeah, look, machine frames. There's actually one, but I thought there was more. I thought I made four of these. Hmm, okay. Bricks is probably going to be the next thing, which is a bit... We've only got five bricks in there, so we'll make some more bricks quickly while we're doing that. Um, I made some dust, and I put some dust in here. So we've got 25 of those things, which I think we can simply craft craft down to yes we can let's do six let's get 64 of these that's right nine and then let's put those through the oven because that won't take a jiffy in this oven it's pretty impressive this oven i'm quite impressed with it <laughs> as you can see so we need uh, 16 of these like that and then we can do our uh, bricks We've got our four bricks. Let's put that one back into there. Don't need it now. I wonder if we should do it in here. Let's just murmur. Just, I mean, an hourly about that. All right, okay. I think we have everything we need. Yes, we do. So we can make another builder. What I was going to do with this builder is to actually set it down uh, somewhere near here with the uh, with the silk touch card in it. I tried this with a normal card in here. Um, because before I'd got those, the silk, the silk quarry is this one, and it picked up so I think I might be told this, it picked up some uh, magna, magma blocks, and it just basically smelted it into nothing. <laughs> and it needs some power. How are we going to do power for this? Let's have a look. Mm hmm. I think I was going to use this one, wasn't I? Yes, that's RF tools. That'll be the crescent hammer. Let's just do the crescent hammer here. We can go and put this down somewhere. I've got my jetpack with me. Let's just change that. What are all the pigs looking up? <laughs> and what else do I need with me? What I have got here. Let's have a look. I've got a mega torch. Might not be a bad idea. You may be wondering what I'm doing with that golden bag of holding. Come to that in a while, hopefully. Where? How big is this lake? Does it go right underneath that? I think it only goes as far as that. Okay. I think here will do for a place. Let's just put it down here. Let's put down the mega torch first of all. So that the mobs aren't going to spawn in this area too much. So we have to deal with mobs which are actually here. Um, so if I put the builder down like this, and put a power supply beside it, then it should have power. Uh, yes, of course, I have to set all faces to output if I'm doing it like that, don't I? Otherwise, it'll be an output. So it's charging up nicely now. 
So we then need a shape. We need to put put the card into it. So this is a sort of touch quarry card, and let's put it in. I'm not sure. What, oh, I haven't set the dimensions up yet. Let's just have a look. So five five five. Okay, that'll do. Just as a start, as a starting point, put it in straight away. Um, and it needs an inventory, and I haven't got an inventory, am I? Let's have a look what I've got for inventories here. Nothing in there, and uh, nothing really useful in here. I'll have to go back and get a chest. Okay, let's just set them up. Let's just set the point here. Quarry. It's got slime boots on. It's actually it's easier to land with slime boots on than it is to, <laughs> just by dropping than it is by actually trying to land. The funny that, isn't it? So where am I up to? I want to make a chest. Oh, maybe I've got one in here already. As I said before, we tend to go through chests like absolutely crazy. So let's go make another chest. I've probably got some si uh, sidings already prepared. Yeah, we've got th 64. That'll make eight chests. Let's just... Oh, it's probably got more. What's it doing now? Okay, it's got space to put some more in. Let's take another stack of these and shove these into here. Make some more sidings while we're busy doing other bits. Do, oops, I can turn the table around or I can do it on here, can't I? <laughs> it's not going to be a very big quarry, this one, but I want to see if it actually does work. If it does work, then I'm happy. Now what we can also do, of course, is to show the preview. Oops, <laughs> just ridiculous. Let's set the let's set to the top corner here. I don't know how to set the what? Builds to the northwest corner. They're not working. So I have to set that as builds to the northwest corner. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I have to do some sneaking around, and I don't want to do that. But I think we can set it up in here. Actually, let's just do that. Space card copy. Oh, I don't want that either. <laughs> I want it to. So we want to do a solid box here, and we want to offset it. I'm going to offset it. The trouble is, I'm not sure what she said. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's set that to five. Minus five two. Solid box. This is awkward. So now, is it doing it? And why does it say copy? Shape code. It says it copy here. I should probably just. I don't want copy, do I? I think that's a red herring, actually. So I ain't sure what it's going to do because it can't see the markers. I suppose it's going to dig below. So that must. Let's go back and have a look at this card again. I'd have thought that was the X offset personally. So let's make that then four. Try that. Let's turn it on again. Ah, oh, there we are. So, f strangely enough, it's doing that. I don't ask me why it tried to hurt last time. So that's that one. Let's just take that card out again, and we'll find out where the where the Y is. Turn that off. So, for example, that. So that's the offset. Must be that. Must be the. Don't know. I really don't know which one that is. So let's make this one then six. 
That's, that's okay. Show me where it is now. That's fine. I'll make this one six. I'll make this minus three. Turn it on. Okay, so it's going there. That'll do. Let's just turn it on then. I think it needs a lever. Or you just basically disable it with red sun signals. And it also needs a chest on top, of course. Let's put a lever on here and a chest on top of it. Whoa, that was uh, fast. What's it dug out for me? So it definitely seems to be working. I've got some Bernerium ones, and that was fairly fast as well. So basically it's replaced everything with dirt, which is uh, which is not too bad either, as it happens. Let's take this card out here. Let's make it a bit a bit deeper. What height are we on now? 178. And I think... No, 62. So let's make the depth 62. I think this is the 62 one, isn't it? Okay, so it needs to be now minus 31. Let's try putting that card in there. And that's all we've got the preview of this one. Okay, that looks reasonable. Let's turn it on then. Has it run out of power? Oh no. Well, it hasn't picked up anything very exciting <laughs> in that area. But that's what I'm planning to do with this one. Uh, hopefully, it's going right down to the right down to the bottom. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be doing underneath here. Let's get the, let's get that on. Whether it's actually dug right down underneath here into there. Ooh. So what's it doing when it's reached the fluid part of it? I don't know. It's got magma blocks here, which I would expect it to pick up. Quite a lot of ores around here. Maybe it doesn't have enough power. Should tell me what the progress of this is as well. Let's have a look. So is that on or off at the moment? Why is 44? Current level is set to build a press press to restart. Okay. What's it doing? Why stop? Uh huh. Well, it's going down. Why sit? Oops! <laughs> it picks up mobs as well. My goodness, silverfish! Right. Well. Goodness gracious me! Let's get it. Let's get this F F put the Y at the right thing. Goodness gracious me! Goodness gracious me! Can I get out of here? <laughs> Whoa. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that I didn't sort of expect. But we'll just have to keep bashing away at these guys. Goodness. How hard are they? Throwing all sorts of rubbish at me. How's my health doing? You know, I don't know how my health is doing. <laughs> I can't see. I've been withered, I think. Oh, we've got some hearts down there. So we're killing a few of these guys, anyway. Have I got rid of the magical one yet? Wow. I've probably got a full of junk, can't I? Let's go down here and get some of these good. Get some health back. Oops, I'm running out of food. <laughs> oh, that was gluttony for me. Okay, that's what gluttony does. Oh, 
My goodness, this is. Uh, I might have to go back home. <laughs> If I'm not careful. Whoa! Where are they all coming from? I don't believe it. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. We could probably drag those across to the. Uh... Well, that's different. That is definitely different. Definitely different. This. Where are they coming from? Whoa, this is really weird. <laughs> and I got some compressed ones, right? That's uh, <clears throat> that's uh, interesting, isn't it? <laughs> what have I got here? I've got something bar on me. Actually, I don't understand. So E. Well, it's not telling me anything on there. Is that a... Well... Where's base? <laughs> My goodness, look at all those guys. If I could actually just kill a few of these, it wouldn't be too bad either, would it? Look at this. Oh, yes, my health's all right, actually. I'm forgetting I'm not on orange. I want something else at the moment. And I've got strength, of course. Well, an infestation of silverfish. Another mites. Goodness gracious me. And all these bright ones, I just... Wow. I wouldn't have thought this was possible. <laughs> I'm just basically gliding down here a bit. Holding down my right button and just pressing the left button. So hopefully we we'll get a few of these guys for us. As we get nearer. Hopefully they're out of range when I'm doing this as well. Well, that's something new. I've not seen this before. <laughs> Ah, oh, those numbers are down a bit now. Where is it? The black ones I've got to watch out for. I'm hungry again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love that gluttony. That's a really good one. What did they get? My gluttony charm. Yep, picking up some arts in this business as well. Wow. So is that something you've got to look for, out for on the overworld? 21. They all gone now. Oh no, one left. Right, you, you. I don't know, a few more left. <laughs> oh, and a magical one. I probably want to keep away from the magical one a bit. I don't want any of the armor. And I don't want to spend all day doing this either. Where is the. Where's base gone to? Wow. This is definitely interesting, but not in the positive way. <laughs> An infestation of... N ah. Where is base? Quarry? Polar? To polar uh, Where 
want the mega torch actually where's mega torch oh that's probably our it is indeed Oof. Oh. oh that's base I trust these guys aren't going to get into base well, I don't think they can to be honest with you I don't know how many hearts I picked up in that particular little expedition <laughs> well Where have my travelling merchants disappeared to? That's interesting. Gee. How did they get out of there? Oh, let's try closing it again. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Where did they disappear to? Am I having a... So over there, there's a load of mobs. <laughs> I'm probably not going to go back over there. But they should despawn if when I move out of here. Anyway, I wanted to have a look. We've got 12 more hearts. That's actually not too bad, is it? Picked up a load of stuff, including a bit of prosperity shard, as it happens. So let's get these eaten. All right, that'll do. <laughs> so I'm on yellow again. I don't know how much health you end up with this and this pack. I must be honest with you. I seem to be going out forever. Right, well, that wasn't uh, what I wanted to do today, fight uh, a whole load of mobs. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go to the um, overworld <laughs> and have a look what I've done over there. I've done a little bit of bait building as I've been there. So have I got any food in there? Yes, I have one. Okay, I'll take that out. Oh, yes, I press number two. Press F. And then we can eat. Oh, no, we can't eat because we're full. Well, they've got plenty of XP, so I don't need to worry about that either. Let's go to the overworld portal. Hmm. Shutting down internal server. Right, crash. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Well, it's just a transit bit that broke. We were actually here. Whew. You know, I'm sweating after that last one. Let's turn the jetpack on again. And here I've basically been building a little bit. As you can see, I set up another builder. <laughs> and I've actually set up an enchanted generator on it. Gosh, I'm spreading them around a bit. Let's just turn this off now. Gee. So, in here, I've got enchanted items. So this should now be full of power. It's not full of power. Oh, this is... Oh, it's taking its time. I wonder if it's actually not chunk-loaded. If the chunk loader is not working. I basically put in the enchanted armour in here. So, like, this one could go in there quite happily. Because it's enchanted and it'll get destroyed and used for the pow producing power. So I thought that was quite a nice, a nice solution. Just putting an enchanted generator on here. So, this chest is containing the items in here. And I've set it up to be a dome. 64 by 64 you can have a look at this card here it tells, should tell me it's a top dome hollow with a dimension 64 by 64 and the offset is zero 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 so that's presumably will build right on top of us and yes yeah, just jump down and here we got the i don't know what's down there actually so here basically is this and it's still working the way like crazy I guess. But I have found some oh, and it stops. So that's a bit full at the moment. So I better go back to base and uh, res fix that one. Let's do that. Oh. Hopefully we don't crash this time. No we don't good. So those mobs look like they've disappeared now. <laughs> Am I simply going off to the over... Oh, no, they haven't. They're still there. Okay, fine. <laughs> I wonder where they're coming from. Maybe somebody can tell me. Right, I've got a load of junk on me. Let's get rid of the junk. I've still got some cocoa beans. Is that my, are those my first cocoa beans? Probably are. I don't remember seeing these before. 
Prosperity shard. Oh, inefficiency to pick out. So, uh, shovel. I could have put that in. Is this full? No, it's not full. What's happening here is it's getting blocked. And it's getting blocked because of something like a hat. Oh, in this case, it's getting. Ooh, an infinity book. Nice one. So, that's good for our bows. Definitely good for our bows. It rang, so. It gets. Yeah, I haven't got enchanted books in here. But I suppose I should put those into the filter, shouldn't we? Let's do that. Uh, I'll use the blade rang one because that's not so effective because I've got, already got a blade rang five book. So we've got different types of witches hats. So they're not getting put in the different levels. You can't, yeah, uncommon and basic. Same as Enderman heads, which is basically, well, you know, this makes life difficult for no good reason, really. Um, I can see. So what have we got here? I want the book down so I'm going to put the book down here. Oh, no, I need to keep the book down because I want to basically go through the things and that's the tall one so that's the middle one. That should be this one. Okay, good. So we put this one, oh, get to the right space where I can actually reach things without trying to click them. There we go. So I'll put the book down here somewhere. Oh, actually, no. It's not the right. It's not the right one. I want the fourth one of these these filters, don't I? I think it's this one. Yeah. So we can put the book in here. Then we can put the book book in here like this. And then we can put add this filter to the other filters. So this one at the moment is off. So we turn it on. So then we're going to put books into this chest. So we want this one like that oh, so, that. so that was the fourth one golden rods yes exactly so we can shift click that into place and that will have now have it golden rods and enchanted books number six that's it so, so we can turn that one back in put that one into here again and turn that back on again and let's come to the back of this one here and do the same thing another book you see and actually that's a good test we can test that one now so it'll be the fourth one, number five, I'll shift click that one into place, and that now should say six at the bottom, it does. Fantastic. And we can put this one into here, and then we can take the book out and put the book back into here if it gets space. <laughs> so this time the book's disappeared and it should have come up in here. Where did the book go to? Well, that's oh, it was here. The five I didn't put it in, did I? Okay, let's try again. Yeah, there it goes. It goes across there. Okay, good. So we can actually put the books away. They're always not too bad, even with fire protection five on those. Um, and I put this. I put this filter back into its slot here, which is the fourth one. So that's how I'm doing that, and it, you have to. Keep, Come and maintain it from time to time, otherwise it gets full. And then, of course, I can take the enchanted items out of here. So anything that's enchanted like that, you can put into I put into this golden bag of holding here. And send that off to the... Oops, try again. And send that off to the, the um, items. And you can't shift-click these in there, unfortunately. And I think that's everything. Saddles. I've got us. Let's put the stuff in here that I picked up from the those, those traders, those travelling merchants who've travelled away. They probably just. They probably um. What is the word? Um, despawn. Why do they? Would they despawn? Okay. Right. Today, let's carry on a bit now. I need to make some um. Enchanting, don't I? Do you know, I'm glad I did that over there. That would have been a right pain if I'd done it over here, isn't it? So we need to not enchanting. I need to take some of this. Let's take a couple of stacks of this graphite stuff, and I reckon we need to smelt this. Into ingots to make the um, extreme reactor stuff. Probably should check it first, but I'm not going to. I'm going to shove that straight into there. 
and let's shove that into there because we've got plenty <laughs> no shortage whatsoever of um graphite there was five thousand there was five thousand there if you noticed so the graphite bars let's have a look uses of these so turbine housing legacy casing reactor cases we do need to make these so we also need to make some reactor casing cores um but i'm not sure how what the numbers are yet we can make 13 of those uh no, because i have actually completely forgotten about uh, extreme reactors let me just have a look at what we got in here extreme reactors Well, let's just put this one in the rest we don't need to see do we there were, I did want to do some charms though and I don't need the RF cards anyway let's get rid of that one because one of the quests is to do these charm resistance for example so we've got to make some blank charms so, so blocks of supreme in essence so we've got to make four charms so we need four blocks of this actually i would like to do that and do some more research on extreme reactors because it's been a while since i last did it and i absolutely i always forget it it's not a mod i use that often for power yeah i think i always end up using it i don't know if i used it in forever stranded i certainly didn't use it in galactic science that was all um advanced reactors um right we need some stacks of this stuff that, that one i'll take a stack of this i think it takes a long time for this to actually come in but it does come in slowly and if i wanted to i could always use some pre supremium essence on this one and do it that way around so this will make eight and i think we need four so Oh, hold on, blocks of this. Uh, it's going to make seven, isn't it? We need to make four of these. I do know that already. So we therefore we need 32 of these. That'll be fine. I think if my math is correct, four times eight. So let's put this down here. Then we get some blank charms. <laughs> Eventually. Did I miscount that? Must have been 33 there, must not I? So we get four blank charms. like that and the ones we've got to make I know we've got to make resistance so this is the supreme apple so this is where I need the apples so that's right so that's <laughs> funny isn't it I started off thinking about this thinking okay we need some bonsai helpers we need five of these and a piece of dirt you know that's amazing it's like using a GPS system when you've got when you've got GEI, you always forget every recipe. But if I remember rightly, this makes a bonsai hopper, <laughs> and then just put a hopper underneath it, and we've got hopping bonsai. So for that, I need five bits of iron and a chest. Well, we made some chests, so we got that one. Let's take this off here, guys. So it's going to take a while before we actually get to the round to do this, but it doesn't matter. One hopper, one bonsai pot. Now we've got a hopping bonsai pot. All I need is now is an oak sapling. Because they're the ones which drop apples. And the chest. I've got a oh, chest with me, so good. And anything at the moment to help protect yourselves is always a good idea, isn't it? So let's put this one down here like this. You notice I'm not putting the chest side by side. Put the hopping bonds on top of it. And then we need to put the, the oak sapling in the middle of that. I could use an apple sapling actually, but I haven't got any apples. I've used, I've used all the apples for doing stupid things, like making dirt. And actually what I'm doing now to make dirt is like, well, we've got a dirt seed, but I could also using um um leaves because i'm getting leaves in here and i'm not using the leaves to make water anymore well i've got 44 oak leaves in here like this oh, actually i am using them but i'm using them up here and i don't really use that many of these and i'm not using much water in here so i but normally just come along and put them into here so that's 
using those up. Right, Apple, so I have to wait for that one. Let's have a look at the other charms. I think it was Magical, not Magical World. Uh, come on. Click. Charms. Here we go, yes, charms. So we need a resistance charm, a fire resistance charm, and a night vision charm. Night vision charm, I think we can do. And maybe even with a resistance. So let's have a look at that one. Let's do night vision first, because that's the top of the list. So night vision is the one with an eye, this one here. So it's just four golden apples and four pieces of supreme mirror. So that shouldn't be too difficult, because the golden apple is just eight nuggets around. So we need 32 nuggets of gold, which is actually not too difficult, because we have <laughs> 32,000 nuggets in our... Hold on, let's shift that, let's shift click it. I think I probably picked up two as usual. Yes, I did. Let's just halve that. I'll put that one back there. So we've got our 32 nuggets and carrots. We've probably got at least four carrots. That was three, wasn't it? Four. So we can make our four golden carrots and do that one. I think that's probably an interesting one to do. So. Oh, sorry, wrong thing. Let's get the carrots going around here. So we've got our four golden carrots. One of those in the middle, and I think it's a cross of these. Isn't it? Just like a seed, basically. And using a charm as a, as a base of it. There we got a night vision one. So the next one was fire resistance, I think. Let's double check it. That was fire resistance. That's also fairly straightforward. All we need is four Magna Creams. And that shouldn't be too difficult at all. Four, I think I'll look at 64. Four Blaze Powders. Let's just self craft that into that. Because then we're not going to get any more than that one. Let's do this one. So a lot crafting lost for a couple. Well, not quite, have I? So we've now got our Fire Charm. What's the next one? Press the four would help, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, wither resistance. How am I going to do wither resistance? I wonder. That's this one. Ah, another stars. Do you know that ain't going to be too difficult? <laughs> and actually, that's a really good one to get anyway. Let's do that one. Oh, that's resistance. I need the. I need a lot. I need a lot more stuff. And it, no, I'm sure there was an app reward for this as well. I didn't take it. Well, that's my own fault, isn't it? Okay. So the last one then is apples. I'm gonna have to do that next time, I think. <coughs> so next time I'm going to do a bit of research about. Uh, I'm probably also going to do some grinding. Maybe I should take the mob crusher over there and do the <laughs> do those. Silverfish over there. Um, anyway, I will see you next time. When I'm, hopefully, we'll be getting on and doing a bit more stuff with um, extreme reactors. So, until then, bye for now.